Yeah, listen, he's, there's no doubt he's on the wane. You know, he is. He's 37 years of age. You know, he's been in the front row of international rugby for over 12 years. I, I don't know any human being that wouldn't be massively affected by that, the brutality of what he's taking, particularly the way he's played the game as well and getting himself in. And he's a you know, big focus on jackling. But for me, with Rory Best, he doesn't have to be one of the best players on the pitch. He just has to facilitate others to do their best job. And he needs to get his darts right. He needs to scrummage well. And he just needs to hit rooks. He doesn't have to be a ball carrier anymore, anymore because I think that that has been his, his ability to do that has been watered down in, in recent years. He's lost that little bit of spark in the legs. So just do the simple things very well. If we can get his, his accuracy at line-out time and, and we can get our stats you know, much improved from, from last week and we can win our set piece at scrum as well and you can do a job there. His ability to lead and be a cool head and at key times is still a, a, a great asset to have and I, I think he's our go-to guy still. I don't think you change anything this close to a World Cup. Um, you know, the great player that everyone was heralding him as being back in November hasn't vanished. Uh, he's okay. just, he's, ha he's had a couple of blips um, but you know, he's, he's, uh, on his day, he can be a world-class operator. So I think you st stick with him, particularly because no one else has really put their, put their hand up. Sean Cronin was given his chance. Niall Scannell um, looked as though he was going to break in and then, you know, had a very, very quiet year for Munster. So Rory is a guy in possession and his leadership might be you know, a, a, a huge component to have when, um, you know, when we get to the difficult moments.